What is up, my friends? Uh, last time we were here, uh, I believe we made a little bunny. A little cutie bunny. He looks a bit like a zombie, but just trying to give you an example. You can move his arms and legs around, I'm sure, to whatever you need, but you know, I think he's pretty cute. He's a cute little guy. So probably just swing him off to the side, and because this one's already sized, maybe we'll just make the next one in here as well. Hopefully that's okay with you. I'm just going to scoop him off to the side there. Not really sure again what I'm going to make, you know me. Um, let's just go off the top of our imaginationary little heads here, if that makes sense to you. So we're going to control B, and obviously we're going to add more segments. We'll go for four, whatever we're making, I'm sure it won't be that. In detail, we just need to make some low poly animals to get people started making them, or maybe your game. You just want low poly animals, they don't matter that much, whatever. Right. Okay, so well, let's get started. Let's make a shape that we're going to like. Let's copy this one. Leave that one in the middle for it's not moved. Maybe that'll make things a little bit easier. We'll see. Okay. <coughs> um. Let's go like this. And yeah. Sorry, let's just make my thinking noises. Those are normal, don't worry. Well, let's tilt. That's wrong. So we'll just go down the line until we find the right axis. We'll change them back to zero if we're wrong. And that's right, okay? So maybe I'll go a little bit more. 25. And this is what you need to do when you're doing these things. It's just kind of take your time mess around, see what feels right, what feels wrong. So I think I got the right piece, but I think I'm going to change it just slightly, okay? So we're going to shift A again, and we're just going to make another cube, but we're going to modify it a little bit before we shape it into our typical sh shape, okay? Difference being that um, we're going to make the top uh, smaller than the bottom, okay? might not seem like it's going to matter, but it's going to make a big difference in the overall shape that we get, as you can see. Now the bottom's a little more plump than the top, right? So maybe we'll um, get out of mode. We'll just change the shape a little bit and do that again. Okay? Something like that. Maybe, maybe we'll grab the bottom one and stretch it a little bit more. Trying to get the shape that I want. I want kind of a natural body getting thinner up towards the head. Okay, so when I'm ready, I'll hit A to grab everything, and I'll control B. I think I'm going to keep this type of shape. You could change it if you need to, you know what I mean? Make it your own. Make it different. Do what you need to do. This is what I'm going to use. Um, so I'll put it back on that 25 that we were seeing before there. I'm just going to do that with it. I think this may turn out to be another bird of types, but let's Let's mess around a bit and see what we can do. Uh, maybe we can grow this a bit, and that's no. <laughs> I could probably grab that around, but let's just see what happens when we make this a little thicker. Yeah, that's kind of more the shape I'm looking for. Something like that, right? Maybe a little bit longer. A little bit thicker. Kind of looks like a bird so far. I think that's what it's going to end up being, but maybe we'll see a little bit. I don't know if I like his body. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know, guys. Um, let's bump his neck back a little bit. And see if we can mess with him a little bit to make him a little bit more in proportions what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to hold shift and drag this out. I'll left click and hold it and just drag it out. Grabbed a few, two extra, so I'm just going to unclick those. And it's just going to get the ones I'm after, hopefully, like this. Okay. Once you got all the ones you're after, I'm just trying to grab the top half, okay? Hopefully this works. I don't know if it will. Shrink it down. Oh, it looks like we're going to have to go to the next one. So we're going to shift here, and then control, and then just follow it around, hit and control, left click, control. Don't go too far at a time once you got them all. We will try that again, 
and we'll shrink it down just a little bit. I just want the top and bottom to be a lot more different, basically. Ooh, uh oh. So let's just undo that. Let's ungrab that. <laughs> Oops. I don't think that one is grabbed. Okay. So let's try that again. And this time we're not putting a hole in them. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. You get the idea. You may have to make it a few times to get your right shape, but I'm just trying to get you there one step at a time. So it looks more the shape I want, I think, but let's shrink it down a little bit. And okay. Yep. I think I'm going to go with that. Maybe a little smaller. Mess around with it. Get what you want. Okay. Click off it when you're done. Pause it if you need to. Gonna go ahead and make the next piece. Hopefully this all works together. I don't know if it will. Again, just kind of making stuff up in my head and just doodling almost. Well, you will know what if it works, because if it didn't, I probably won't make it into a video. <laughs> You'll be able to tell by that if it's a video or not. All right. So, uh, is that the right shape? It might be the right shape. Mm, okay gonna go a little bit longer like that and we're gonna go a little bit skinnier like that go a little bit skinnier this way but I think that's around the right length okay kinda looks like a bird might have to change the head size a little bit probably be a little smaller like that probably move back a little bit like that okay I think we got a basic bird shape guys and I hope you agree um, let's see what else you can do here so his wings, um, okay, his wings, we're going to do, gonna make a cube, yeah, there's two ways we could do this, I'm just thinking about another way we could do it, we could just, like if we we're highlighting on the duck and we went into edit mode, we could just grab what we want to make the wing like that, right, and we can shift D it, and then go to our arrows and we can literally copy the exact same shape like that kinda you know what I mean and that might be the best way to go I'm just trying to think a little bit and make sure that's the best way to go I don't know it's gonna kinda depend how you feel I guess but um, I feel like that might be it that might be the look we're going for let's see how it'll look out here it doesn't look, look like a wing let's do the other style just in case but I think that's the way we'd probably want to go so you decide on your own what you think is going to look good I'm just going to undo that okay so we never did it shouldn't be two pieces there um, I, I would be seeing a glitch if there was so there's not now I got my bird pretty much in proportions to what I want so once I figure out my wing be a little better off here. Um, just grab the edges, grab the edges, grab the edges, grab the edges. Control B. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be, guys. Because it's going to be more tapered at the one end, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to unclick that one and that one for a second and just taper these two. Like that. Hopefully this is the right shape, and I'm sorry if it isn't. A little bit of guessing to do here. May have to do some extra work to make it look more like a wing after. I don't know if this is going to turn out well or not. I'll just do it and hope. Something like that. Okay. Hopefully as we stretch it out, there's more of a difference from end to end, which there seems to be, so I think this is going to work. Okay. Going to have to make it a little more proportion as to what you want. However, it's a low poly, so just kind of has to look like something's there, you know what I mean? You can go the other way that we showed you before. It's kind of up to you what you, you prefer. Once I get it into the spot I think it's going to be, I'll just pull it out. Okay. And obviously it's going to cut into that one a little bit, like that. So I think this will do for the tucked in wing look that I want. It may not do for you, but you're going to have to decide on your own. Looks like I'm a little thin at the back to try to make it uh, work for you in your game, okay? So it looks like I'm going to have to pull that out just a hair. If 
you're having too much trouble, you could probably cut a line down here before you curve it. And then you could take this end, drag it that way, and take that end, drag it that way. So it'll wrap around the duck more. Or the bird. Um, maybe we could try that real quick. I'll see if I could put a line in it, but I probably can't because we put those edges. No, we can't. Um, let's go back a little bit and see if we can do it before we uh, curve, if I can go back far enough. Just skip back, skip back, skip back. You can use your other part and go through your history if it's easier or better for you. Do what you do. I think we're almost there. And this one. Okay. Now, what did I want to do again? <laughs> so grab it, go in edit mode, and push control R. Okay. Oops, that was the wrong way. So I'm going to undo that. Control R up and down is what we need. Okay, right? Yeah, that's what we need. I'm gonna go ahead, move it. Uh, let's curve it actually. Hopefully, this is still alright. It should be. Control B. Okay. And you get your right curve. Again, sorry about going back, but sometimes we gotta make adaptions on the fly like this. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing we basically did before. Make it the right size that we want for our wing. When it works for you, drag it into place, okay? Just drag it in on one side, and we'll figure out the other side once we're ready. We just need to get this far first, okay? Maybe it needs to be a little smaller. Maybe you're happy with that. Up to you. I don't know. It's possible if I shrink this, it'll bring down the whole edge, but we'll have to see a little bit. No, it won't. So I'd have to grab that to there and that to there. Now if I shrink, it'll bring down that edge a little bit if you want it to be a little sharper. Up to you guys again, okay? So what I'm going to do next is pull this wing out just a little bit. Okay, grab this through to there with control then shift left click that through to there with control okay and just drag it in a little bit and you see it curve with us okay perfect now that you have that click here click all the way here with just control for it let's go to the other end and we're just gonna go a little bit tapered on this end okay now ooh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to say it's going to mess up our other side, but we just got to move one thing, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Something like that. You could sink it a little more in now, and it shouldn't stick out as much. You can move both the front and the back end if you need to to make it fit. Looks like that's what we need to do. But let's copy and send it to the other side first, because we're going to have to do a little bit of a repair, and I apologize for not thinking this out better, but these are the things I'm talking about, about... Uh, thinking ahead and stuff like that before you get yourself in trouble. I'm just going to move to this one. We were in the color shader, so we were having a little bit of an issue seeing. So once I'm click clicked on just this, I'll go into edit mode. Okay, I got that end still apparently. So I'm going to grab this end. Oops, not that one, but the rest of it, yes. And we're just going to do the opposite of the other side, so we're going to go this way with it, okay? That's the only difference really. When you're happy, try to like match it if you can. How far it goes into the duck ish. Right? That looks pretty good. Um, we might have to move the whole thing out a little bit. There we go. But you get the idea. Move it around till it's good. That spot there. There we go. Maybe just the front end next time. Um, So I'm just going to grab just the front end this time because I don't want to do the back this time and tuck it in. Um, if you want to do less, you could do less. If it's uh, the angle's a little weird there, as you can see. So I'm going to do just these. Three, four, four. Let's do four. Okay. And fix it up a little bit. Okay. Might have got a little bump in there. You can also switch to these. Just kind of tuck it in for it looks good on this side. It don't matter what it looks like on the outside. Something like that. Maybe grab this one and this one and scoop it out a little bit. 
Oh, that's too far, isn't it? Move it a hair if you need to. Okay. Just adjust around till you're done. I'll stop messing around. You guys don't have to watch me do it, but I'll just do one adjustment over here for we have almost the same thing at least. Maybe I'll grab these three. One, two, three. Okay. And then just move them in a little bit. All right, that's good enough. Get the idea. Looks pretty much symmetrical. Might have to move them around a hair here and there. You might wanna just do some fine touch tune adjustments, basically. I think he looks pretty much like a, a duck, or not a duck, uh, maybe a chicken, I don't know, something like that. Maybe we'll make this one a chicken, right? Um, you can round these fret edges too, um, if they're bothering you, by the way. Um, you just want to go something like this, and then something like, you know, wherever you want to stop there. And then control B, and should be able to just kind of bevel it down a little bit. Just be careful. You can do damage, and it can make it more harder to texture. Or we could just um, grab those and squish them again. But anyways, just giving you ideas in case you want to do a certain way. Flip out of that mode. Okay, let's do a face on this guy. Okay. Um, something like that. Drag it out. And edit mode. Edges. Delete. Dissolve the edge. Okay. Pretty much done. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I think I'm funny sometimes, don't I? Grab that again. Make sure it's just that. Squish it down. Squish it down. Now, if you're making a duck, probably the right shape for his bill. Okay. We are not making a duck. We're going to try to make a chicken. So I'm going to say his bill is going to be more like this. So like straight like that. Okay. Then we will just shrink it down for it comes to a bit of a peak. Okay. If you're not okay with that, just change the shape until you are okay with it. Okay. I'm happy with that. Maybe move it down a little bit for his eyes have more room. I feel like he's a cute bird at this point. There's a few ways to do his mouth. Uh, we'll do the simplest way that I can show you. I guess he doesn't have mouth. His beak, his bill. His beak or bill, whatever you want to call it. His beak bill. Okay, so we're just going to shrink it down. Go as small as you can, really. It's just a little tiny edge where you're going to see something's there, basically, right? Go out. Go up the beak without going through it for you don't chop into the face and leave a weird line there, okay? Warning. Make sure you're happy after. Don't just walk away like you're done. Make sure it looks good and repeat it if it doesn't. Okay, and that gives me the look I want. Now if I want to round that edge, sorry, if I want to round this edge or this edge, control B, I can slowly round it just a little bit, right? I don't know how good that looks, I might just leave it square, like that, okay? A little chicken, a hen I guess you would. And maybe we'll make a hen and a chicken just to show you how to do both. We'll just uh, use the hen to make a chicken and we'll copy its body. So quickly, let's do some eyes. So we'll steal his head shape. Add edit mode, make sure with tap. And shift D. We'll steal the size of his head there. Shrink it down. I don't know how big a chicken's eyes are. I feel like they're pretty freaking small, but... Uh, Gonna have to figure that out on your own. That looks pretty big, bug eyed there. So maybe we'll go that small. Okay. If you're happy with the position and the look, shift D. And figure out your coordinates. Right click to let go of that. And we're just gonna take this and minus. And we're in the exact right position. Okay. So now that we've got our chicken pretty much together. Let's go ahead and do his feet, and then we'll color him, and then we'll do the uh, 
rooster as well, okay? So like that, and we're going to have to make some feet. So that's going to take a little bit, but we're going to figure this out. Don't you guys worry. Something like that, shrink it down, shrink it down. They don't have very long feet. I think there's something like that length, but we need to make them way smaller. So let's just do this. Okay. When you're happy with the size and the position, let's go ahead, move it to one side. Make sure it's still connected to your chicken and it hasn't slipped out and you don't have a weird edge there. Shift D. Okay. Drag it over this way. Just to see our cords, add a minus. Lag on the other side. Okay, now if we want to finish a lag completely, we probably can and then just flip the whole lag to the other side. So maybe we'll delete that and then we can just copy the whole lag. Hopefully you understand what I mean. If you don't, I think you soon will. But we'll see. Alright, so uh, next shape, next shape. Um, shift A. Chicken foot. It's a little more complicated. Not exactly sure how to do this. There's a few ways I can think of. Okay. Yeah, I got an idea. Let's take this, and if it doesn't work, I apologize, guys, but it'll probably work. I My stuff, usually, f I figure a way through it or make it work, right? So, hopefully, this will be the same. Make uh, more of a rounded square than a circle. Okay. Now, I don't have a chicken's foot for reference. Hmm. But I feel like there's, like, something like this in the middle. Like that. And then I imagine it'd be smaller than that. Like like that, maybe, or something. And if I'm wrong, guys, go ahead and tell me in the comments. I am actually pretty interested like in the mistakes that I make. And, you know, we talk about it. And I'll try to make it better next time or something. Not a big deal. I'm just interested in what you guys are thinking. Take that, and we'll flip it here. 90. Nope. Okay, zero. I was wrong. I sent it 90 meters away. My apologies. I vanished it to the Shadow Realm or something. Alright, so we're going to S. Okay. Bump her up. S. Okay. Bump her over. I got it off its axis. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to make it longer because if we keep on Sing, it's going to get so small it's going to be hard to tell what we got. So, S again, when it's about the same size as this, I'm going to shift D, okay, we're going to send one of these out the back, I don't know how many freaking toes a chicken has, so you're just going to have to uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because I just don't know, <laughs> not that farm experienced, I guess, um, Let's do this one down just a little bit too for they're around the same. Okay, so I would do something like that. Drag it out near the end. You probably want to be a little bit into there. Maybe a little farther. You decide. I don't know. I don't know what's best. Um, I'm just going to grab the, go to faces and just grab the tip of this and go S. Okay. It's more like a claw. Same thing. Grab the tip. S. Okay. Hopefully that's the look you're looking for. It looks like a toe to you. May not. I apologize if it doesn't, but I think it does. So, shifty. Could go out a little bit. And we're going to go into the middle again. And shifty. I don't know how their feet really are. I feel like there's something like this. Maybe it's two. I don't really know. Uh, I should have looked before I started. What does a bird have? These are these, those, these little tiny claw marks in the sand. I feel like that's right, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe something like this, and then we delete that. Okay. Bear with me, and hopefully I'm right. And then something like that, maybe? 
and again go feel free to go correct me if I'm wrong if you're like that's not a bird foot you fool well correct me let me know and we'll make it better next time I don't mind making mistakes I just uh, I like to learn from them so if I am wrong let me know and we'll take this one we'll drive it in a bit and we'll try 110 but I think it's gonna be the opposite yeah so we'll do 70, 80 maybe, what would it be? 90 minus, 90 minus 20, so it would be 70, I think. Yeah, I think that's right. Right on, perfect. Okay, so that's what I think. Again, I could be wrong. Don't really know birds' anatomy too well, so there's a lot of animals out there. I, I think they're all cute, and that's the biggest thing I got for animals. I just love them. They're wonderful. Um, maybe we could try turning this like out like 15 degrees if this is the right way. Yep, it is. And this one like out 15, so we do minus 15. Something like that looks better. I don't know. I'm just guessing though. <laughs> that does not look right. But that's what we're going to use, okay? Until you guys correct me. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to join it to this to keep the axes up and down straight. So the last piece I attached to, the axes were straight on it. And then we're just going to go ahead and shift D the whole thing. And put the minus over here. Okay. If you want them a little more apart, you can. I think that's pretty good, though. So, um, yeah. I think that's pretty much a, a chicken. Probably need some tail feathers or something. Not exactly sure how to do them either, but you know, we'll figure something out. We always do. Don't we, guys? Alright, so let's do this maybe. Um, if you've been watching the whole series and you're making your own game, uh, please let me know when you're done your game or if you release an early preview or anything. I'd love to see what you've made, honestly. Especially if I've helped you. I love uh, helping people. Feeling, I guess it gives you a good feeling, you know what I mean? So, if I've helped you at all and you want to show me what, what you're doing, that's great. I'd love to see it. Okay. Um, something like that, maybe. Maybe you want it up on his butt a bit more there, maybe. I don't know. I think that looks good to me, so let's do that. And then we're going to Shift D again. Nope. Go back. Undo. Wrong button. Shift A. Make another cube. Move it back, take it up, pull it right in, okay. Come here, side to side, make it super thin. Is that thin enough? I don't know. Okay. So what we're going to do is just kind of make it look like kind of either like hair or something like that. And it's just going to give the illusion of the fineness of feathers, I imagine. You may want to take this piece and round those edges. Maybe, um... Maybe the best thing to do on that actually would be to go to faces, grab that, and just taper it at the back, actually. That would probably be the best look. Something like that. Okay. Looks pretty good, I think. Shift D. Shift D. And feel free to do as many as you want of these at whatever gaps you want. I'm not going to measure them out. I'm just going to free it. Sometimes just having a little bit of difference and... Uh, individualism in each one is going to give it a better look and sometimes it's going to make it look worse. With animals it's usually better but it's not always the case obviously. Something like that. Maybe break that gap up there. Try to have a fairly even gap if you can, right? Then one by one light them all up. Okay, and then grab this one last and boom. Difference. Maybe you don't like that look, but you can do. It's just to give it a little more of a compacted feathery look. You can just kind of scoot it up together now. Okay, maybe you want it to be on an angle like the other ones. That's wrong. Minus 15, minus 25. Okay, nope, that's wrong too. Okay, so it is that. Minus 25. Okay. Something like that, maybe. I think it looks pretty good. You may disagree. 
feel free to let me know. Tell me if you used it, if you liked his tail, if you didn't like his tail. I think it looks pretty good, especially for a low poly. I think it's going to get the job done. So, All right, let's go ahead and color this whole guy. So grab all your loose pieces. Grab his legs. Don't grab this middle piece yet. Grab it last, okay? Grab everything else, absolutely everything else. Then his body at the last, because that's going to be our control point. And since the, the up and down hasn't moved on it, we should be good, okay? So we'll go into coloring. We'll go up here, we'll change our shader. We'll go down here, we'll change it to this, and we'll hit new. And we're just going to pick a little bit of a yellowy red. Let's go like an orangey color, okay? I feel like that's a color of chicken. Definitely could be wrong, obviously, so let me know. Okay? And then we're going to start just giving different things different colors. We'll color his beak, new, yellow, two. Okay? Eyes, over the eyes, we're going to click off everything and push LL plus new. We're actually going to keep that white, okay? So we're starting to get our chickens look. He's starting to look like a pretty good chicken. If you want to do some stripes or anything like that, you're more than welcome to, or anything like that. Don't exactly know exactly what they look like. I know they're sometimes just brown, but anyways. Maybe we'll do his legs. Um, just grab the whole bits of the legs and we'll probably do them the same color as the beak. I think that makes sense. And if it doesn't, you go ahead and make it a different color because you know better than me then. So, okay. And I'm not being sarcastic. If you know better, you go ahead and make the corrections that I don't know about. I don't know everything, although I like to think so time, sometimes. All right, looking really good. I think it looks really good. Hopefully you do too. All right, let's give him some eyeballs, and that'll pretty much be it for the chicken until we make him a rooster with a quick modification. And the modification should just take one second, or maybe not a second, but not long anyways. It's just going to be a way that we can basically make our bird two things at once, right? It could be a chicken, and it can be a rooster. Okay, so now it's a chicken, right? I'm going to shift D drag our chicken over here because that's a chicken. We're going to make this into a rooster. Now I know they got some weird thing hanging under their chin so we're going to try to create that. That should be fun and I know they got a weird stupid thing on the top of their heads. Sorry I guess they're not stupid. I just uh, It's going to be frustrating right? So drag that up. Let's shift D because we're going to have to do something on the top of his head too right? And then we should be done with this guy though after that. This one will move back a little bit. We'll make it thinner. Something like that. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and go into edit mode. And we're going to hit control R. Make it go up and down. And we're going to do something like that. And right click it to let it center itself. Alright. So there you go. You got your check in and he's got a sweet haircut. Let's move him into place a little bit. Right this one. Let's take it and let's just turn it like that because I'm pretty sure it's like that on a chicken. Like that. And then we'll go to the bottom side. And we just grab just this face and hopefully this will work and give us the look we need. Don't know exactly what this thing looks like. I figure it's something like that. It doesn't have to be exact. You just kind of have to get the look. I'm going to do that. Hopefully that's good enough for you guys. If it isn't, sorry. I'm not a chicken expert. Maybe I should look these things up first, but I feel like that takes my artistic value out of things. So then I don't I don't have my own sense of me in the design. I feel like that's right. If I'm wrong, you go ahead and make your corrections. And again, I apologize. Okay, so I'm going to leave that on the bottom, on the top. I'm going to grab this, drag it forward so it's nice. I think that's around centered in his head. Okay. Grab this one. Sorry, go to edges. We're going to grab this one and this one. Is that right? Should we make an uneven amount? Yes, we did. Let's grab those two. I guess it's alright. So we're just going to do something like that, okay? And then we're going to grab this one. Maybe that one. 
And we're just going to do that. Maybe bring that one up a little bit. No, it doesn't work, does it? Well, let's redo our block and put more cuts into it is what we'll do. So, shift A. Cube. Drag it up again. No big deal. Control, or tab, sorry. Whoa. Oh, I accidentally did that. That's really interesting. <laughs> I meant to hit control R. So, just make sure you do more than before. Try to make it work out evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six. That might be seven. We'll see. Use the ones you need to. Don't use the ones you don't need to. Scoot it in together when you get out of edit mode because you don't want to do it in edit mode until you get the right width. Don't go too much for you can still make some adjustments. Um, so try to grab every other one. Let's see if it works out this time. I think it didn't, but let's just take the ones we can and go with it, okay? Hopefully that's the look you're okay with. Um, actually, now let's take all the tops and let's try rolling them over a bit. Control B. Okay. That looks pretty good. Um, you can, before you unclick all those, Make sure you're on faces and just click all these too. Um, you can push control to make sure you get them all. Control. Okay. Once you got them all, control. Control. We're just going to go ahead and taper it a bit at the top just to give us a better look. Okay. Perfect. That looks like a bit of a mohawk. Pretty good, I think. I think that's the look we're going for. Trim it down a little bit because I don't think it's that high. And we'll go in here a little bit. I'm going to drag it down a little bit for it's in his head. Looks pretty good. Hopefully you agree. Now I might be down at the front and slowly taper up. I don't really know. You guys probably know better than me, so feel free to do what you need to do if you need to make your own adjustments because I don't know chickens very well. That's fine. Okay. Maybe I'll do a little bit like that. I feel like that looks a bit better for some reason. Anyways, so we'll attach those two. Grab that, grab that, grab our chicken, control J. Sorry, our rooster. This is a rooster. L, L, and don't you forget it. And we'll make this one bright red. Okay? Hopefully you guys had a great time with me today. And uh, I really appreciate it if you came to check out my video and you're just having a good time with me. Oh. Sorry. Just some uh, Discord there. Oh. Hello. And I back. apologize about that, guys. <laughs> but, um, so we've made our, we've managed to make our chickens. They pretty good fit in with our rabbits. Maybe you can use one to scale the other. Okay, I think rabbit's a little bit bigger than a chicken. Not really sure. Maybe they're, uh, they're the same size. You decide. Oh, 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 oh. That looks so bad. Anyways, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this uh, series. Hopefully you're still watching more. There's lots more videos to come, and I'll be making lots of stuff. Hopefully it's helping your game. Always let me know. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Like if you want me to keep making videos. And let me know some, some stuff about your game or if these things are working out for you or if you're enjoying them. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for stopping in, and we'll see you next time. All right. Peace.